Not cat. I got Jackson Aces. What do you got? That's good. I was bluffing. Look at this, Ravelli. Isn't there something that strikes you very funny about this picture? <laughs> oh, come, come. It isn't as funny as all that. Did you ever see a tree like that? Tree? That's a spinach. That can't be spinach. Where's the egg? Well, it could be spinach. Look, all the sand laying around there. You mean it's an old spinach custom? No, it's not that, Ravelli. Anything oh. but that. No, Cap, that's all right. It's my mistake. You know what that is? That's coleslaw. Coleslaw? Yeah, it's a coleslaw. Did you ever see a coleslaw like that? Sure. Look at this one. No, I don't want any of your lip now. Did you ever see anything like that? Did you ever see anything like that? You know what this is? This is a left-handed painting. Well, look, there's a signature. That's right. It's in the right-hand corner. That's right. This is either a left-handed painting or a vegetable dinner. Now, if we can find a left-handed person that painted this, we'll have the trial of Mary Dugan with sound. Well, I saw that. Goodbye. Now, uh, you wait here. I'm going to need you. Now, look. We mustn't lose this. This is evidence. Now, take it to your room and leave the door open this time. We'll try that. And uh, not a word about this to anybody, not even to me. Ravelli, we have got to find the left-handed painting. Yes, the left-handed painting. Now, in a case like this, the first thing to do is to find the motive. You gotta get now, motive. what could have been the motive of the guys that swiped the Bogart? I got it. Robbery. Would you mind going out and crossing the boulevard when the lights are against you? See, Cap, sit down. You understand? I got an idea how to find this painting. In a case like this, that's so mysterious, you got to get at the clues. You got to use the Sherlock Holmes method. Now you go about them like this. You say to yourself, well, what happened? Then the answer come back, something was stolen. Then you say to yourself, what was stolen? And the answer come back, a painting. What are you, a ventriloquist? Now you say to yourself, where was this painting stolen? And the answer come back, in this house. Now, so far, I'm all right, eh? Well, it's pretty hard to be wrong if you keep answering yourself all the time. Now you go a little further and you say to yourself, who stole the painting? This is a very, very important question, Captain. You get to the answer, you got to the solution to the whole thing. Especially if you find the picture. Now you take all of the clues. You put them together. What do you got, eh? A bread pudding. Now, here's what do we got. Something was stolen. Stolen where? Into this house. Stolen by who? Somebody in the house. Now, to find the painting, all you got to do is go to everybody in the house and ask them if they took it. You know, I could rent you out as a decoy for duck hunters. You say you're going to go to everybody in the house and ask them if they took the painting. Suppose nobody in the house took the painting. Go to the house next door. That's great. Suppose there isn't any house next door. Well, then, of course, we got to build one. Well, now you're talking. What kind of a house do you think we ought to put up, huh? <laughs> Yeah, well, I tell you, Cap, you see, my idea of a house is something nice and small and comfortable. That's the way I feel about it. I don't want anything elaborate, just a little place that I can call home and tell the wife I won't be there for dinner. I see. You just want a telephone booth. No, in that case, I'd get in touch with Chick Sale. Now, what do you say, uh, what do you say, Cap, we build right about here? Here? Yeah, right about here. Oh, uh, I'd like something over here if I could get it. I don't like Junior crossing the tracks on his way to the reform school. I don't like Junior at all, as a matter of fact. All right, all right. We got something over there. And believe me, that's a convenient. Oh, that's a very convenient. Well, look, all you got to do is open the door, step outside, and there you are. There you are? Yeah. There you are where? Outside. Well, suppose you want to get back in again. You had no right to go out. Well, don't do anything until I hear from you, will you? Say, maybe that's the painting down in the cellar. <laughs> that's no cellar. That's the roof. That's the roof down there? Yeah, you see, we keep the roof in the basement, so when the rain comes, the chimney don't get wet. Well, uh, I'm going out and get x-rayed. I'll be back in a little while. I may be wonderful, but I think you're wrong, Ravelli. Hey, wait, don't get them excited. Come here. Now, look, here's the rooms. Those are the rooms? Yeah, right there's the rooms. This is your room, this is my room, and this is the maid's room. Oh, I'd have to go through your room? <laughs> Ah, that's all right. I won't be in it. Say, Ravelli, you, uh, you couldn't put the maid in your room, eh? What makes you think I couldn't? Well, there's going to be a lot of traffic in there. I can see that. Well, what do you say? You're ready to sign the lease? Well, it's a little premature. I'd like to discuss it with my husband. Could you come back this evening when he's home? Hey, you married? Why, well, I've got a girl as big as you are. All right, get me one. Don't get vulgar, Ravelli. Ravelli, how about the painting? Oh, we take care of that all right. 
Now, I tell you where my idea is. I think the kitchen should be white, outside the green, inside a cerise with a maroon. The painting, I say. How about the painting, Ravelli? All right, what do you think I talk? It's a painting, the kitchen white, outside the green, inside a cerise. The painting, the painting that was stolen. Stolen? Don't you remember Miss Rittenhouse lost a valuable Bogart oil painting worth $100,000? Don't you remember that? No, I'm a stranger around here. I don't remember that, Captain. Well, what do you think I am, one of the early settlers? Ravelli, don't you remember Mrs. Bogart lost a valuable Rittenhouse oil painting worth $100,000? Don't you remember that? No, but I've seen you someplace before. Well, I don't know where I was, but I'll stay out of there in the future. Hey, Cap, it come to me like a flash. This painting wasn't stolen. Huh. You know what happened? This a painting, Cap, is a disappear. And yes, it disappear. And you know what make it disappear? You'll never guess, Cap. What do you think of making this painting disappear, huh? Eh? Moths. Moths eat it. Left-handed moths. Go away. Go away. I'll be all right in a minute. Left-handed moths ate the painting, eh? Yeah, that's my own solution. I wish you were in it. Left-handed moths ate the painting. You know, I'd buy you a parachute if I thought it wouldn't open. <laughs> Hey, I got parachutes. Mm. It's crazy. Come on, let's get down and get the reward. We solved it. You solved it. The credit is all yours. Yeah. The painting was eaten by a left-handed moth. Hey, That's... you know, we did a good day's work. How do you feel, tired? Well, it's Maybe you ought to lie down for a couple of years, yeah, eh? It's Why thing. don't you just lie down until rigor mortis sets in? Yeah, it's Come up, Ravelli. I'll show you how we get the painting. Yeah. We'll go to court, and we'll get out of rid of habeas corpus. You're going to get rid of what? Oh, I should never have started that way. I can see that. I say, I say we'll go to court and we'll get out of rid of habeas corpus. Yes, yeah, a corpus, it's a corpus. Didn't you ever see a habeas corpus? No, but I see habeas Irish rose. <laughs> hey, you 